So when the pandemic started, a lot of women were coming to me with confusion, like, can I date at all? How do I date with social distancing? How should I just take a break? And I want people to know that this is a great time to date. Did you push record? Thanks so much for tuning in to Second Act TV. Today we return our focus to dating after 50, especially in these crazy times. And I am so happy to welcome Sandy Weiner back to Second Act. Thank you so much for joining me again, Sandy. Oh, it's such a pleasure to always Always be back with you, Selka. Well, you've been on Second Act quite a bit. Our viewers love you and your advice. If you haven't seen Sandy, Sandy is a dating coach, dating expert. She's the founder of Last First Date. Uh, and the woman of value will, of course, link to all of your information, Sandy. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to have you back you know, again, this this is a crazy time. You know, all the dating advice that experts like yourself and others that I have on uh, that we're giving to women. You primarily work with women, although I think your advice very much applies to what men are challenged with as well. But all the rules have changed all of a sudden. You know, oh, yeah. what is it even worth going out there? And I know you have a course about this, which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. But you bring up some really good points. You believe this is a great time to start dating. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so when the pandemic started, a lot of women were coming to me with confusion, like, can I date at all? How do I date with social distancing? How should I just take a break? And, you know, in the beginning, we thought it's going to last two weeks, <laughs> maybe, maybe a month. And here we are four months later as we tape this, and it's just been ongoing and there's no end in sight. So I want people to know that this is a great time to date. We take off a lot of the pressures of dating when we date virtually and when we slow things down. I think part of what's been going on in the dating world that hasn't been working is that things had gotten really fast and almost like dismissive, especially in online dating. You start a conversation, it disappears in the middle, you don't know where it's going. You're in this, this, this silly conversation about the weather. You don't even know what's happening. And somebody ghosts you. They set up a date. Don't show up. I mean, you know, and, and then there's all the issues of sex too soon, um, who pays on a first date. And all that's off the table when you're doing social distancing. So it's kind of like going back to Victorian times where people had to actually get to know each other. And the problem is that a lot of people don't know how to do that. You know, we've kind of lost the art of connection and conversation and how to deeply connect to somebody, not just through flirting, but actually through deeper conversation that's a little more vulnerable. And so that's some of what I started teaching in the course. Yeah. Do you believe that? Well, I, I, I guess I know the answer to it. How do you establish a connect, a real connection, though, virtually? Is it possible to establish a connection without actually meeting someone? Um, definitely possible. And I think now as things are starting to open up, people are meeting um, with social distancing. They're going for walks together. So there's a way to take it from virtual to real life. And then people get into, well, this is sort of my corona bubble. You know, these are the people that I have vetted. I, I saw a video recently of Oprah welcoming Gail into her home. She had quarantined for two weeks on, on Oprah's premises with a whole staff of TV people, like a whole crew. And then two weeks later, she comes into the house. So there's, there's lots of ways for us to see each other and to be able to feel safe. But virtually, you want to establish a connection first before you even get to that point, because you need, you need safety. You need to, to really connect. So some of that is in the questions we ask, in the um, creative ways that we connect. I have found so many creative ways to date virtually, including games we can play. And they may seem silly, but they actually show a lot about somebody's values without it being an interrogation. Yeah. Well, we're going to do, I want to do a whole segment on that with you, how to actually, uh, you know, plan a virtual date. Uh, I, I What I really want to focus on in this segment is is just the 
so, so many people are hopeless, Andy, you know that better than anyone, you know, is what is going on? What's going on with this world? Am I ever going to find love again? And I think our point in, in, in talking, reaching out to the viewers is, yeah, yes, it is. But there's just some things that have to change your mindset. And perhaps, as you said, at the dating rules, you know, how how is that different where we sit today than it was even just a few months ago? Well, yeah, I don't believe in rules. I believe in uh, in principles. And so um, I think that it always starts within. You know, the mindset is the most important piece. So if you are hopeless about love, you will bring that hopelessness to dating. You will be rolling your eyes and going, oh, this is such hard work. And oh, all men are this, all women are, the, you know, and it's like you, you start using these absolutes and you don't leave any room for the surprise and the magic and the, the love to happen like it happened for you. And I, I think that we often go in with these types that we think are the best for us. And, and one thing that Corona has, has really helped with is I think a lot of people are, are searching for people outside their comfort zone on so many levels. Like if you throw out your dating rules and say, you know what, I'm going to date a totally different type. I never dated somebody with tattoos. I'm going to date that tattoo guy. And I'm going to date somebody who, I don't know, he, he seems kind of vapid in his profile, but, but he might be cool when I speak to him. We have to be open to those, those little miracles and surprises. Otherwise, we end up with the same person over and over and over again. The, the best stories are of people who dated outside their type, who, who thought they needed somebody, let's say, um, with a high education, you know, has to have a PhD. And I, I like intellectuals. And, and the problem with that is that often those people are really not connected to their hearts. You know, they're, they're really, really smart, but they may not be great at relationships. And I know several people who found people who, who graduated high school, maybe even didn't graduate high school, but were brilliant and were open to growth and all the important things, which is really what we are looking for, instead of getting stuck in these like external things that really don't matter. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because you do, you a lot of the intimidation, I guess, or just the whole idea that you're wasting your time or, you know, going on a date and all that effort that goes into meeting up personally. If you do it online, yeah, you can take you can take more chances. You can take more risks, so to speak, without even yeah. worrying about the safety issues of it. Exactly. And and you go at your pace instead of feeling pressured. And if somebody wants to meet you too soon, you let them know I'm not comfortable yet. I want to get to know you better. I mean, a client of mine just reached out. She's been having this kind of half conversation with somebody for a while, and she wanted to know how to get it to the next level. I said, just get on the phone. Like, you know, how many times can we talk about what do you do when it gets hot out? You know, <laughs> we, we just run out of things to say, and we're not really connecting. So find out on a phone call if you want to take it to a virtual date. And, you know, and then we'll talk more on another segment about what that could look like. Yeah. Well, and, and, I, and I want to talk about just even going online and all the changes that how we're adapting profiles now to, you know, to a, a reflect this time. But that'll be the next segment as well. I, I think for for today really is the idea that, you know, if, if you compelled to want to take a break, maybe that's a good thing. It just depends on where you are in your life. But this is absolutely not the end of meeting people or dating or, or that, you know, you're never going to find the love of your life. Would you agree? Correct. Yeah. I mean, look how many people are reaching out to old friends even. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a time when people are craving social connection, not wanting to distance themselves from it. So I think more than ever, we need to find ways to connect, not to disconnect. If you want to take a break for the right reasons, then go ahead and do it. You know, if, if you want to spend some time working on yourself and maybe redoing your profile or doing some inner work, great. But the, the best way to learn about relationships is to be in one, is to be out there dating, having fun with it, like trying stuff on because it's not, you know, if you take away all the rules and all the all the craziness, then you'll enjoy the process. And, and that's when you'll find somebody. Yeah. 
that yeah no great point well and in closing I, I i like what you just said which is again really think about what it is that you want have a clear idea you know why am i even dating what what do i want from this i'll, I'll let you close out and then we'll come back yeah i mean Knowing what you want, because if you don't, you're you're coming in blind and you're dating in the dark, so to speak. And I did that for so long. And then you accept whatever falls into your lap because you're not discerning. You're not feeling like you are the chooser and the treasure, but that whatever comes your way, I'll try it on. You know, and it's like it's like walking into a store and you know you need a dress for a special occasion. You're not going to go into the sports department to buy that dress, right? But that's what we do in dating. We're like, I don't know, try the sports department and then try it. You've got to know the qualities that you want in a person. And it it's going to look different than you think, but you want to hone in and not waste time with people who are not going to give back what you need. So clarity, focus, the right mindset will get you what you want. Great. Well, Sandy, thank you. We'll, uh, as I said, we will link to all of your information, to your sites, to I'll, to the course. You know, you can just check the link that we'll have in the show notes uh, to see what the status is. I know you do them live and uh, they're live, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have all that, all that information and we will see you on our next segment of Second Act TV. <laughs> If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. The button is right over here. Just click on through to YouTube and when you see the little bell right next to the subscribe button, hit that too. We'll notify you every time we launch a new video. See you next time.